Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you my anticipation is well by the grace of almighty allah and i am also well all of you are welcome to nipso me school this is abir husain khan assistant teacher in mathematics at day shift of national ideal english version school today i am going to take mathematics class 4 class 5 and our today's topic is cbq chapter 7 part 2 very last time we have already learned two cbq question in part 1 class and our today's lecture is 23 and hw is 17 you have to submit your hw on your school campus my dear students let's go to start our class look here here is a question question number 8 there is an iron bar and its weight is 2.3 kg per meter its length is 1.4 meters question number a is 0.021 divide 3 equal what b is find the weight of the iron bar and number c is if the price of per kg iron bar is 35 taka then what is the price of iron bar now solution of question number a given that given that 0.021 divide by 3 we have to divide this one now to divide this one first of all we have to remove the decimal point from here so we can write here 0 021 divided by after removing decimal point we can write here for this reason 1 and look here after the decimal point here is 1 2 3 digits for each digit we will use 1 2 3 is for each digit we have to use is zeros now here is 0 0 0 for 0 2 1 0, and divide here is divide and 3 will be here look here we have already removed the decimal point from here so 0 and 0 is the left side of a number we can write here 21 and divide by 1000 is the denominator for dividing this type of division we have to make the reciprocal fraction by making reciprocal fraction we use a multiplication sign and make the reciprocal of this number that means 1 divided by 3 because the 3 is equal 3 divided by 1 if we reverse this one then we can write 1 divided by 3 now 21 multiply by 1 divided by 1000 multiply by 3 now 3 ones are 3 3 sevens are 21 and here is 7 ones are 7 divide by 1000 so after dividing this one we can write 7 divided by 1000 this is the answer of the division if you want to divide 7 by 1000 then you can also do that hope you understood this one now number b find the weight of the iron bar find the weight of the iron bar look here given that given that given that here is number b the, the length of the length of iron bar is the length of iron bar is 1.4 meters and its weight is its weight per meter 
is 2.3 kg look here its weight per meter that means 1 meter weight is 2.3 kg now we can write the weight of the weight of 1 meter is 1 po is 2.3 kg now the weight of the weight of 1.4 meters is so we have to multiply 2.3 and by 1.4 and the unit will be kg then 2.3 and 1.4 we have to multiply here here 2.3 multiplied by 1.4 now 4 3 is 12 we have carry 1 4 2 is 8 and 1 is 9 now skip the decimal skip the ones place here 1 3 is 3 and 1 2 is 2 now here is 2 9 and 3 is 12 carry is 1 2 and 1 is 3 now what would be the decimal point look here after the decimal point here is one digit and here is one digit also one and one it will be two digit in total so we have to count from ones plus one two so the decimal point will be here 2.3 multiplied by 1.4 it will be 3.22 kilograms or kg so the record answer is 3.22 kg hope you understood this one now Number C, if the price of per kg iron is 35 taka, what is the price of iron bar? If the price of per kg is 35 taka. Now, question number C is given that, given that, the price of the price of per kg is 35 taka the price of 1 kg is 35 taka the price of 1 kg is 35 taka now what is the price of the iron bar what is the price of the iron bar from b we got the weight of weight of iron bar is 3.22 kg now the price of price of 1 kg is 35 taka therefore the price of the price of 3.22 kg is 35 multiplied by 3.22 taka then what will be here here 3.22 multiplied by 35 5 to the 10 carries 1 5 to the 10 and 1 is 11 carries 1 5 threes are 15 and 1 is 16 now you skip the ones place here 3 twos are 6 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 now adding these two numbers here it will be 0 
carries 7, 6 and 6, 12, carries 1, 9 and 10, 10 and 1 is 11. Look here, here is 2 digit after the decimal point. So, we have to use the 2 digit from 1's place, 10's place. So, here it will be the decimal points. So, after multiplying 3.22 by 35, it will be 112.70 turka. So the answer is so the answer is 112.70 turka. My dear students, hope you understood this one. Practice it at your home. Now look here, here is your SW number 17. SW number 17, question number 3. There are 0.63 liters of oil. We can divide it equally into 7 cups. Now, number A, 3 stands for, look here, if you write the solution of number A, 0.63. 3 stands for which place in the above decimal fraction. We will know that after the decimal fraction, decimal point, we can start the counting from here is 10th and here is 100th. So, 3 is the 100th place. Now, number B. How many liters of oil each cup contain? How many liters of oil each cup contain? That means we have to divide 0 0.63 and we can divide it equally 7 cups. So, we have to divide this one by 7. After dividing this one, then we will get the how many liters of oil in each cup contains. Now, number C. Number C is how many cups will contain in 9 liters of oil. Look here, how many cups will contain in 9 liters. From B, from B, we will get the amount of 1 cup. From B, we will get the 1 cup amount. Then, you have to multiply this one by 9 and then it will be the how many how many cups you have then you have to divide this one 9 divided by 1 cup amount then how many cups will contain in 9 liters of oil look here after dividing this one you will get 0.09 in each liter then number c what will be then number c what will be you will be divide you will be divide 9 by 9 by 0 0.09 then you will get the answer my dear students hope you understood this one submit your sw on your school campus practice it at your home more and more take care of yourself see you soon until then allow this